Evan, thanks so much. The balance of Congress is up for grabs, and one of those races is U.S. House District 1. Good morning, Las Vegas anchor Justin Hinton introduces us to the major party candidates vying for the seat. Democratic incumbent Dina Titus and Republican challenger Mark Robertson. We should start with how the boundaries of this district have changed. It now stretches out to include Anthem and Boulder City. So both candidates are getting to know a new set of voters. Dina Titus is currently in her sixth term in the U.S. House of Representatives. She's also the dean of Nevada's congressional delegation. As for the change in boundaries, she says it's simply a matter of reintroducing herself, since she represented parts of Henderson when she was in the state legislature. But a lot of people have moved here in the last 10 years. Now, starting from scratch is her Republican challenger, Mark Robertson. He's never run for public office before. Now, he spent 30 years in the Army, retiring as a colonel. He says he doesn't like the direction the country is heading in. So, here are the two that will face off in the race to become Nevada's first congressional district representative. Starting with the incumbent, Democrat Dina Titus says voters tell her the economy and inflation are the most important topics. So I asked how she tackle it, and she says the Inflation Reduction Act was one way. You bring down the cost of medicine, and in the part that deals with climate change, you are helping people to lower their energy bills by uh, incentivizing weatherization of homes. Mark Robertson said voters tell him they're concerned about the same two topics, but he would tackle inflation in a different way. We've got to stop the wasteful government spending, and then we've got to open back up our economy. We've got to stop paying people not to work. We've got to encourage people to go back to work into our factories and our stores. On the issue of abortion, Titus says the Supreme Court got Roe v. Wade wrong and has already voted to codify it into law. Now she's worried other rights not directly mentioned in the Constitution could be on the chopping block. And abortion's not in there, who you marry's not in there, birth control's not in there, right to vote's not in there, uh, school desegregation's not in there. There's, this is a slippery slope and I worry that all of those rights are at stake. Robertson said the court got Roe v. Wade right, that it should be up to the states to decide. And since Nevadans said most abortions should be allowed up to the 24-week mark, he says it should stay that way, even though he himself is pro-life, with exceptions for rape, incest, and the health of the mother. I will not take power from the people of Nevada and give it to the federal government, so I would not support any federal legislation uh, regarding abortion. And on the topic of crime, Titus says it's about funding community policing. If you know your police officer, you trust your police officer, they can then do a better job of protecting you and protecting themselves. And that's been federal legislation as well. Robertson has a different idea. He says it's about funding ways to secure the border. We seal that, if we secure that, that southern border, we can stop the flow of illegal guns and drugs coming into our neighborhoods. You can hear more from both candidates on our website right now, ktnv.com. And tomorrow, we'll focus on the candidates for attorney general. That's Democratic incumbent Aaron Ford and his Republican challenger, Sigal Chadha.